Hi everyone, I am Edo from Framer. Today I'd like to show you some updates we've made to the CMS, starting with the much requested ability to add links to previous and next items in detail pages. The latest sample blog includes these by default, but if you want to add them to existing CMS pages, it's easy, so let me remove this one to show you how. You can head to the insert menu, select the fields category, and then drag the previous next onto your page. These links work out of the box, but let me quickly show you how they are set up. Here you see there is a new next variable next to slug that you can assign this way. And a bit below in the properties, you see there is a visibility condition that takes care of showing the link only if the next variable is set. Lastly, there is a content variable that takes the title from the next item and adds a little arrow. All the building blocks we've just seen are designed to be super flexible, to allow you to create any type of navigation like these arrows on top. And now I'm going to show you how to set this up with components. If I double click on this arrow button, you see that there are two variants, one enabled and one disabled. To make this link to the next item, first I'm going to create a link variable. And I'm also going to make sure that the disabled variant has this link removed, so that you cannot link on the disabled state. Now back to the canvas, I'm going to head to the link variable we just created, and via the add menu I'm going to select the slug and assign the next variable. And just like that, if I preview, you'll see that the next button already works. The only issue is that it stays enabled also on the last page, which means if I click, I'm going to head to a page that is not existing. To fix this, I'm going to head to the variant property, then click on set variable, next, and then is set. Now when is set is going to show the enabled variant and when not set I'm going to change to disabled. And if I preview again my button now works exactly as expected by showing the disabled state in the last page. And just like that we created custom previews and next buttons. Now I want to show you something else. In the CMS view you'll see that there is a new menu on the top right which says show. On click you'll see all the fields of your collection and you'll be able to pick which ones you want to show or hide, allowing for great flexibility in customizing your CMS view. And there is more, we also added created and edited metadata that you can display on the table as well. This is useful because if you manually change the order of items, you can sort back by creation date or last edited date. One useful detail to know is that we started collecting that metadata starting from September 10th, 2024. So if your items are older than that, you won't see that information. We also added other workflow improvements you've been asking for, like one click to select all drafts and quickly undraft, as well as improved right-click menus to better communicate you can import or paste collections from other projects. Lastly, a common request after our references release was the ability to rearrange multi-references per field. And now you can just do that, so you see that when you sort them, the order is immediately reflected in the canvas. I hope you enjoyed this round of updates and there are many more to come so stay tuned and see you soon.